Goku is not going to be struggling from matchup unfamiliarity, I'd say. Granted, I don't know how much he's played Diddy Kong Kirby specifically, so... As we move into this game one, we'll see how things are going to shake out. I feel like one of the big things for Don Mark in this game is going to be uh, exploiting Noku's recovery. If you could get like a clutch down air or something like that on a monkey flip or on a barrels, that could be a huge difference maker. Because, I mean, for the most part, Noku is just going to be outperforming him in neutral. Both because he's a fantastic player in neutral, but also because Diddy Kong neutral is just fantastic. Fantastic. Noku trying to go for the uh, two-frame with that forward tilt. Very interesting option. And, oh, he got the down tilt, but no, no. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, but he was a little bit too quick on that down air. Noku able to delay it was really good. Once more off stage, though. No way that peanut finds its mark. Oh, but again. No way. He's gone. He's done. He's dead. What? John Mark, I was saying how things were going to be happening uh, off stage, but I, even I wasn't expecting it to shake out like that. Oh, I think he wanted to pick up the banana. Unfortunate. Ooh, good recognition on the trip. Yeah. Um, Peanut is it's an alright projectile, but it does kind of have a lot of start and cooldown, meaning that Noku can, you know, with that nice dash attack that he has, he can just uh, zone break with it. In the meantime, we're seeing a lot of these Kirby normals, the F tilt, the jab, just making sure to get damage on Noku, considering the lead he has. Um, is that going to do it? Wow, with that much rage on Sean Mark, the up throw was actually able to finish it. He currently has a three stock to one lead. And Noku is in the corner taking all of this damage. He's still not able to finish John Mark off. He's at 163. This is Kirby. He's not Bowser. He should not be living this long. But he's finding down tilts. Down tilts aren't coming into anything. Even late forward, there's not enough. 177. John Mark is somehow surviving all of the onslaughts that Noku is trying to put on him. And jab to grab the mix up. All of a sudden, Noku is. This is getting worse and worse for him. Even if he takes the stock right now. The, <laughs> he read that. All right, this is the sort of thing. Well, this is a wrap. This is enough of a wrap that I. Yeah, he. Side B's into the blast zone. He doesn't want anything more to do with this game. Take him to game two, whatever. All right, you took you took me out. You, you did it. You got that first stock, and you kind of ran, ran away with it after that. But uh, I think Noku just, you know, going to do a bit of a palate cleanser. Maybe take a little bit of time uh, immediately running it back to PS2. I definitely think that uh, the stage wasn't the issue. Yeah, and not switching off of Diddy Kong. Uh, I agree with that. I don't think that it was like a, oh man, this Kirby really knows the Diddy Kong matchup, and I gotta switch to PT. No, it was just that John Mark took that first stock, and after he took that first stock, Noku really struggled to kill him. Like, profoundly struggled to kill him. Which I know is kind of an issue for Diddy Kong, but, uh, man, that was rough. Anyway, this game actually starting out pretty good for John Mark. Actually starting out better than the last one. Nice combo in retaliation, but Noku at 59%. And that should get punished. Yep. He had time to shield, but Noku recognizing it comes in and gets this grab and all of this damage as a result. Yeah, John Mark is the one pushed to the ledge, trying to find his way back. Oh, wow. Still managing to get the forward air in between all of those Kirby jumps. I was about to say that, you know, that is actually a really good advantage for Noku in the matchup. Good. Up smash going to be taking it. But the fact that he can drop from ledge, grab the banana, and has multiple jumps to mix up his recovery. You know, we've seen already that Noku, if somebody takes the banana, he'll run in with the forward air. But that isn't necessarily the, uh, where are you going? Oh, no. Yeah, John Mark has been going for these edge guards, but it feels like he's been a little bit overzealous. In that position, you can maybe even just go for a neutral air because uh, the weak hit of it, I think, just knocks him out of the barrels without uh, letting him recover so quickly. Yeah, he's still going for down air, though. I mean, I, I feel like at this position, that's just not necessarily the right call. The neutral air comes out faster and lasts just as long, and I think at this percent, it'll do the job nonetheless. I might be proven wrong on that, but in the meantime, John Mark trying to find this stock. Oh, he was facing the wrong way. That forward air landing would have been really important. Yeah, and honestly, Noku hanging out underneath this platform quite bravely, considering the fact that, uh, you know, John Mark does have access to an up throw, kill throw. Uh, 
man, no. Yeah, this is kind of the reverse, the opposite of what we saw in that last game. Now, Noku's at 162, and John Mark is the one who's really struggling to close out stocks. Those Kirby normals, which were great for getting tons of damage on uh, Noku last game, are not enough to actually put him in the ground when John Mark, really, that's what he needs right now. A dropping shield, that up smash. If John Mark had been holding shield just a little bit longer, that would have been able to be the stock, but... As it stands, it's two stocks to one. Actually, a little bit of change, too, as he's already taken 6%. Oh, the shield pressure. Oh, loving the movement from John Mark right now. It's a push Noku to the ledge, but banana in hand, there's only so far he can take it. Since, uh, since even since taking Noku's first stock, it feels like he has managed to oh, geez, uh, managed to get a better handle on what he needs to be doing. We do have Noku's 96% to John Mark's uh, 70, but he needs to be doing a lot of work here. That was such a clever mix-up. Landing on stage, Noku is not expecting him and got hit by the last hit of it. And the oh, I love that from John Mark. He was throwing out all of these tilts, all of these aerials on Noku's shield. And he was recognizing the timing of when Noku was dropping shield. And he caught him at that forward smash. And all of a sudden, he's just no longer outside of the realm of possibility. It's definitely rough. If you are John Mark, this is going to be very tricky. Especially considering the fact that that's a banana in uh, Noku's hand. A banana that can kill you if it lands on you in the right spot. He was expecting, just hoping that banana would connect, and I love that up B as an option all of a sudden. Look at this. Noku taking 61%. Oh, ow, that bullet smash, not enough to do it. Great patience from Noku. He has John Mark at the ledge. No jumps. No, he held onto just enough of them. That's going to be it, though. No way he can make it back. We have been seeing him go for that F tilt at the ledge continuously. That's the first time we really saw it pay off, though. And what a payoff it was. It felt like the momentum was starting to slip away from Noku. But just careful play at the end there. He manages to get him over the finish line. We now have a 1-1 Game 3 situation between these two. And I believe um, this is winner's quarter, so winner of this is guaranteed top five. Guaranteed top eight, in fact. Um, and I don't know if John Mark has actually... Yo. Gotten, uh, has John Mark gotten a top eight at all? Yes, he has. He had one random week where he popped off. Like, He's definitely been on the improvement, but like you know like when people like first hit their stride with improvement, it takes like one good tournament for something to click and they, they kind of get a good bracket run. He's had like one of those so far here. Well, this might be the second, because right now he's actually looking pretty good against Noku. Oh, the kick flip on that monkey uh, monkey flip actually finishing to get him out of that bad situation. But as it stands, Noku taking a lot of damage and being pushed at the corner. I think a lot of the problem with this is uh, the, the matchup seems pretty okay, but w once he pulls Banana and he's on the other side of the stage of Banana, like if he gets disconnected from Banana, it makes it a lot harder for him to like have a neutral approach. He basically, any all of his neutral approaches is very committal. However, the fact that Kirby has multiple jumps and the fact that we're on stages with platforms does make it a little bit easier for him. You know, he can you know try and bait out a banana throw, or he can, while still having the option, just retreat to the platforms. Uh, up throw is not going to do it. So yeah, he's forced to go for that down throw. And another grab, though, from pretty much anywhere on stage. Or a back air will do it. John Mark with the lead. And last time, game one, when he got that lead, he Noku didn't even take the stock by the end of the game. I love the fact he air dodged the ledge there. At the end of that last game, he was getting punished for the upbeat. So instead, opting to make it harder for Noku to actually, you know, contest him there. That back air was so smart. He shift, her box shifted in order to not get hit by it. And is that enough to do it? I think he's gonna take it. Yeah. yeah. No, that was, it was really smart. So he put he puts the banana on the ledge, and now he has to eat the. He wants to pick up the banana, so he's not eating a ledge pressure. Like he doesn't want to limit his get up options. But then the hurt box shift didn't made him able to not get punished from it by, by back airing. Yeah. And I, I think it also kind of it highlights one of the really interesting parts of this matchup is the fact that Kirby is actually pretty decent on the ledge against uh, Diddy yeah. Kong. Normally, people hate being on the ledge against Diddy Kong, but Kirby can grab that banana and still, you know, retreat with his multiple jumps. 
Doku just stopped in his face and got dash attacked for it. No oh, way. Oh, then they're going to take it. That was super low. I think that that was maybe some questionable DI from Noku. I don't think he's ready to be hit by it. Yeah, I think he was even drifting backwards. So he has a peanut in hand. Give him these nuts. <laughs> oh, that platform actually getting in the way of what could have been a really nice combo. Nonetheless, though, John Mark has a really solid lead here. As long as he doesn't die off stage at the really low percent, which definitely could happen. I feel like he can just extend this lead to a point where it might be impossible for Noku to make the, uh, the return. Noku that's went for it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, is that this being at the ledge is so tricky. It's not so easy for Noku to just, uh, you know, exploit him being there. And, oh, man. 90%. Oh, that's gonna nah. be it! The up smash was too middle there. I, I don't... Especially with, with a stock lead. That was smash was way too middle there. Yeah, I do think that he was reading a jump, which he was doing. A